we went to war. We we were volunteers. Yeah. I mean, uh, in the First World War, we were. That's why we're the best troops of all. We were shock troops. Yeah. And the shock troops are the people that they sent in first. It got to the point that we were so good in the Second World War that when uh, the uh, the Germans heard that the uh, Canadians were gathered for a, uh, you know a battle, they'd send their best troops, and uh, everywhere the everywhere the Canadians were, they knew was they, they'd send their best troops and the most people, and it got to the point that uh, the naturally you never hear about this uh, anything, but all the troops started to work, put Canadians on their uh, on their uh, sleeves, so they think they you know they had spies, the Germans had spies and everything. Yeah, because I guess what what they would what they would do would be like they would like they would try to fool the Germans on which way yeah. they were going to attack, and then the Germans learned well if it's only the Americans there or it's only the British there and the Canadians aren't there, that's not where yeah. the attack's going to be. And if they knew that the Canadians were there, they said, okay, that's where the attacks. Because we were from. shock troops. Because we were we're conscription. It's it's and, when, and, and not not to not to trivialize it or whatever you say. But when you want to see a guy that really likes to fight, and you're fighting a guy, oh boy! So I, you know, I like to. I know a guy that. Uh, didn't I just, li- I just want to tell one quick story, okay? That I, I'm working on a TV show, and we were in a in the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa, which oh, has yeah. the largest operational vehicle, uh, military vehicles in North America. It's got tanks and from all over, and they had a um, they had a jeep there, and the jeep was from this. Long story short, was a a, a a Canadian tank commander's jeep, and the Canadian tank commander got uh, wounded. And he loved this jeep, and he told the guy, "Don't lose this jeep." And the guy was hurt worse than he thought, and he had to fl- go back to Trenton, he is where he was from. And eventually, the Americans brought the jeep over for him to keep hey, the je- right, eh? to keep the jeep. Yeah, to have the jeep. So the jeep was there, and I said. I looked at the, and this guy, Dan Acker, was the, the operations manager, and, the, and he was, you know, kind of going over, and he was telling the story of this. And I said, you know, I, I got to ask you, I said, why does it have an American star on a Canadian Jeep? Like, why wasn't there a Maple Leaf on the Canadian Jeep? And he said, well, he said, long story short, he says, you know, pilots are, he said, the pilots aren't very smart. And he says, they wanted to make sure that anything with a star was an ally. And he goes, that's why the Russians had red stars. Yeah, we yeah. Had, I never thought of that. We had white stars. And he says, but look at the, he goes, this, so this is a Canadian Jeep, but look at the, look at the star. And I'm looking at it, and he goes, what's wrong with it? And I kind of go, well, I don't know. I go, they didn't really paint it straight. He goes, that's right. He says, the Canadians... He says, despised putting an American white star on their Jeeps. Oh, yeah. He says, so what they did that. was that they skewed it just a little bit to the left or right, just to say, all right, I got to put this on, but I'm not happy about it. 